Hey guys, that was at Costco today. It looks like they have e-bikes on sale now at Costco and also on the website. Um, I was at the Los Feliz Costco in Southern California, but I remember seeing this at the Huntington Beach Costco like a month earlier. I think on the website they actually have, um, you know, where they actually have this thing showing. But it's like one of those uh, one-time show things where they have it for about a week or something. But anyways, it's only $12.99. Yeah, it sounds like a lot of money, but it isn't. It's actually very cheap compared to, or inexpensive compared to what it is. It is a class two um, pedal assist, which basically, with a throttle, which basically pushes you to 20 miles per hour with using a throttle or using uh, by pedaling assisting. And you go faster with the pedal for the gearing. But overall, it's a rear hub motor. And it's pretty well equipped, you know, for a, you know, entry level, I guess, not, it's better than entry level though. Uh, e-bike. It basically has a Shimano rear um, freewheel, 350 watt uh, hub motor in the back. I think it's pretty generic. I can't tell which one it is, but it's 350 watt. Um, aluminum frame for both the male and female version, or the step-through version and the uh, regular triangle one. Um, it's aluminum, light aluminum frame. Overall, the drivetrain is mostly Shimano. They have a turning derailleur in the, in the back. They have a Shimano shifters in the front. Um, and the derailleur is, derailleur and free was our Shimano. The front uh, chain ring, I have no idea what it is, to be honest. It does look like a regular chain ring. There's only, I think, seven or eight speeds on this guy. Um, and for the wiring, the wiring is basically, it's actually a sound speed. And the wiring is basically just goes right through it and screwed in like that. The key to the battery is on the right side. I think it was the right side. Actually, it's the left side. It locks the battery in. The battery slot slides in and there's the connectors for the charger and the charge control on the bottom. And the battery locks on the top. Pretty interesting in terms of the thing where you could just yank out the battery from the center down tube and, you know, charge them. The pedals... And crank, they, they seem pretty straightforward. They're just average cranks and pedals. What I did like was the kickstand. It had a pretty hefty kickstand that kept it, you know, balanced on its side, on, on center. Disc brakes, too. It has front and rear Shimano disc brakes, which is pretty awesome. The hub's a Joytech hub, a generic hub. Not, not a big deal, but it's only for the front. Um, the tires are knobby tires for the male edition, or the, uh, the 20-inch frame edition. Uh, they're Kenda tires that are 26 by 1.95, so it's not bad uh, in terms of just, you know, road, you know, driving, riding um, in the, actually, you know what, are these 28s? No, oh, we're definitely 20, they're, I think they're 26s, I think they also have, um, dun, 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 no, they're 26s, and, you know, basically the power going to the rear hub, same thing as most of the hub motors, they have that little wire that goes back, I'm glad they have a disconnect to the center. Uh, on the midpoint, so it's easy to get out. E101 is the male edition, and it's made of all of aluminum. E102 is the female version, or the step through version from Gen Z, and the locking thing is still on the side. Uh, what I did like about the frame is that they did have uh, rack mounts for the rear mat rack, which is nice. And also the seats, both of them have those, the cutout seats for, I guess, male or female. The, the female one actually has like a, um, like a cruiser style seat. As you can see from controls, there are, you know, a throttle control and other stuff. The charger is kind of big. They're using ch Samsung cells for their batteries. It's actually a 36 volt, 9.6 amp hour battery, which is nice. Uh, it fits right into the down tube, snaps right in, and it locks in with the key. So pretty, pretty nice design. It's um, better than having to, you know, take it off from, this, from everywhere else. But coming from the side, it's it's a pretty clean design. And that's the female version. On the controls, you have a bell. Comes with a bell, reflectors, and a, um, I guess, the assistance um, plus minus. On the right side, you actually have a throttle control. So you just could go without even pedaling. Uh, the box weighs 85 pounds, but the overall bike was, I think, was, according to what the person said, it was like 45 or 40, 47 pounds. It didn't seem that heavy to me, but it's roughly under 50 pounds. Um, Jenny's, it was pretty neat. It's pretty neat stuff. When biking this thing, um, the keys don't hit your knee, which is great because it's so far in the front. Um, the pedal assist, there's almost zero pedal. You use the throttle, you just go all the way to 20. Um, you could totally just, you know, use the throttle and go up to 20 miles per hour um, theoretically. And the pass, pedal assist steps are have five steps. Zero, which is zero, and five is total pedal assist. Now, 
I'm biking right now, and basically it's going to assist only up to 20 miles per hour, which I was like, eh, that was not as useful as I thought it was. But hey, it's 20 miles per hour. It is a level two, um, you know, electric bike. But switching to um, the downshifting to about seven speeds down, I could easily, at max, like a pedal was like around 29 miles per hour on this stable bike, on this um, bike stand, which is eh, pretty fun. But if you're ever biking like this, that's not bad. You know, going up 20 miles per hour could assist you over the road, um, hills or whatever else, or any headwind or whatever else. But I'm glad that they put the design and the uh, display so large so you actually see it. And it's not bad. I mean, I'm going at, you know, you know this is, it's, it's a good mid-sized bike. And for the price, for $12.99, it's actually worth it. Because something like this will probably cost more, closer to about 16 to two thousand dollars so pretty awesome pretty awesome little bike um glad they sell at costco of all the costco warranties and i think that's what helps um probably sell this bike more because it's covered by costco you know return policies and stuff but yeah that is they're i don't think they're making that much money off of this bike if they're charging you know, about twelve hundred twelve ninety nine for this uh, but overall it's a nice bike it's not bad i would love to take this out on the road and test this you know and instead of just in the sh sh store like this but Overall, pretty cool. Pretty cool stuff. Yeah, that's the cruiser bike for um, the cruiser seats. So, But the cable management, I didn't really care for the cable management. They should have tied all that stuff down somewhere. But it's easier to access and stuff, but I could see that it looks really tacky with all that wires everywhere. But anyways, thanks for watching, guys. Please like, subscribe, and all the fun stuff for more Costco finds and electric bikes and other fun stuff. I'll see you next time. Please stay tuned. Like, subscribe.